Behind this hilly enclave of Smithtown homes are majestic woods dotted by deer. I never gave permission for anyone to come to my property to, to drag an injured deer, and why would I want that? Dr. Peter Sultani returned from a hospital shift to learn from neighbors that a homeowner whose property borders Sultani's hired a hunter to call the herd, apparently angry that deer were chewing away his gardens. This whole thing is very disturbing to me, um, to kill all these deer to save a garden. A witness described seeing a hunter perched high on a backyard stand that was recently assembled in a tree, taking aim at adjacent town property next to their backyards, using a high-powered bow and arrow like this one, capable of taking down an animal or more. There's children, people have pets, like dogs running around. It's, it's very dangerous for somebody to be in the neighborhood shooting a bow and arrow at random. Neighbors showed antlers and photos snapped from windows in the rear of their homes, including a fawn, which may have been a victim of the hunter. If somebody gets killed or hurt or maimed, it's horrible. And even if a child sees a dead baby deer being dragged down a driveway, how do you explain that to them? The homeowner did not answer his door, and we saw no more signs of hunting while we were there. The DEC says it is investigating. The town has strict rules and regulations on archery hunting, which is outlawed in residential neighborhoods. From Smithtown, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And following complaints today, town code officers and police from Suffolk County said they will advise the homeowner to cease and desist from allowing any hunting on his property. A 